Yes. Okay, whenever you're ready, we're going. You ready? Mm -hmm. You guys ready? All right, well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this Wednesday, December the 7th, uh, 2022 meeting of the Board of Garrett County Commissioners. Full house here today. It's nice to see. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for the people online who tuned in. Uh, if everyone would please uh, stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then Pastor Kroll will lead us in the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father God, as we come toward the end of this calendar year, we want to pause and give you thanks again. Give you thanks for this great season. We give you thanks for our county, for the celebration of its 150 years. We pray, Father God, that you would continue to lead and bless and guide this county for the next 150 years. We give you thanks for these commissioners, for the work that they have done during the year. We pray you continue to lead them as well, Father, and as Commissioner Heimbaugh moves on to serving at the state level especially bless and guide him thank you father for this time during the season where we can rejoice uh, about the birth of the lord jesus all these great things father we give you thanks for in jesus name amen, amen. please be seated <clears throat> Mr. Noll, any additions, deletions, corrections, public meeting agenda? Uh, no, sir, there are none. Hearing none, do we have a motion to approve the meeting agenda? So moved. We have a motion, we have a second? Second. Motion and a second agenda approved by mutual consent. Everybody got a copy of the minutes in advance of the meeting. Are there any questions, corrections, or concerns with the minutes? Hearing none, do we have a motion to approve? Motion to approve the minutes. We have a motion, we have a second? Second. Motion and a second, minutes approved by mutual consent. Before we go any further in the agenda, uh, you history folks out there may know that today, it was once said, is a day that will live in infamy. Uh, this is December the 7th. Uh, bonus points for anyone that can tell me what happened on that day. Uh, I would hope most of you know, but I am quite sure there probably are a few that do not. But uh, this is the day that Pearl Harbor was attacked and uh, I would just ask uh, for just a moment of silence real quick to commemorate. Thank you. All right, moving right along in the business uh, part of the agenda. Mr. Nall, we have some uh, bids on the agenda. I don't know, is Brian here? Or no. Take okay. It? okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. So we have two, two bids. First one is contract number GA417ZM2. Um, it's project number ALP3799E better known as the Kaiser's Ridge Business Park Local Access Roads. Uh, seven bids were received. Uh, Green River Group LLC in the amount of $1,398,720.50. Excavating Associates in the amount of $1,658,020. Bear Contracting LLC in the amount of $1,675,985.40. Blyco Enterprises in the amount of $1,729,000.88. Charles J. Merlot uh, Incorporated in the amount of $1,935,884. Fruits Excavating in the amount of $2,011,000.88. $2, and Bright Construction Group in the amount of two million four hundred eighteen dollars, four hundred and eighteen thousand four hundred eighteen dollars. Uh, after reviewing the bids for compliance uh, and based on concurrence received from the State Highway Administration, uh, the recommendation is to award the bid to Green Group, Green River Group LLC, in the amount of one million three hundred ninety-eight thousand seven hundred twenty dollars and fifty cents. Um, this uh, was in 
included in this year's budget. Uh, we budgeted one million six hundred fifty-eight thousand four hundred seventy-five dollars and uh, ninety-seven cents for this project. It is an ARC funded project, and uh, the um, we are under budget by. Um, $93,279. All right, uh, questions uh, on the bid? <clears throat> if not, uh, I'll take a motion to approve the recommendation of the purchasing department to approve Project APL 3799E for the Kaiser Ridge Business Park Local Access Road uh, to Green River Group LLC for $1,398,720.50. So we have a motion, we have a second. Second. Motion and second. Question on motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And just uh, for the public's information, so Kaiser's Ridge Industrial Park, uh, we, we've talked about it a lot over the last eight years. I'm sure we'll talk about it a lot over the next eight years. Uh, we finally have there now the sewage treatment facility that it needs and the infrastructure piece, the uh, water is uh, fully built out there and uh, there is an access road from the 40 to the back of the property this will be an access road that goes parallel to 40 so the whole property now will be opened up and once that road is built uh, i i believe uh, all of the infrastructure for that park will be in place and uh, will be much easier to market for potential uh, clients to move in there. So this is a, a another big step forward on that piece of property and hopefully it, it pays off uh, in the end. Next up, uh, RFP number 2-1011. Yes, sir. RFP 2-011. This is for the professional architectural consulting services for the rehabilitation of the courthouse. Uh, we've received one bid from Bayer Blinder in the amount of $482,470. Um, this is over our budget and the recommendation is to reject the bids at this time and we will uh, rebid uh, maybe later on in the, uh, the next, next year's budget. Okay, uh, questions on that? So I'll need a motion to actually reject the bid uh, to, to just close that out. Make a motion that we reject this bid. All right, we have a motion. We have a second. second. Motion and second. Question on motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We'll reject that bid. All right, uh, next item on the agenda. Um, after a full year, uh, we are coming to the conclusion of the uh, 150th celebration of Garrett County, uh, otherwise known as the Susquecentennial. Um, and we are going to uh, do a couple of things now. Uh, the first thing that we'll do is I'll read the proclamation uh, and do the coin dedication to the record and then uh, that will be displayed uh, in the courthouse uh, for the next 150 years. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, the Arts Council will uh, Commission the artwork through presentation. Part of the part of the uh, celebration was we had an art contest. If you came to the fairgrounds that day, and a lot of you did, I recognize a lot of faces here. Uh, you you got to see that artwork, uh, and and here are the winners. We're actually going to I guess kind of make that official, and then uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, we will conclude this uh, presentation and celebration with a video clip, which is actually outstanding. I think you all will like that. Uh, and we will recognize the entire committee. So we're going to recognize the entire committee that worked on this at the end. Uh, I think everyone is here looking around the room, but I, I know we're uh, going to do it later. But I know on behalf of Jim and Larry and I, uh, we just want to say thank you uh, for all that you guys did. It was a, a large undertaking. Uh, it was a, I don't know how many uh, months in prepping and then how many months of actually doing everything because we went to every community. Uh, and when I say we, generically, is the whole committee. Uh, went to every community in the county. Uh, we're, we're at all the festivals, all the festivities. And I have to say, and I know I mentioned this previously, but the coin 
idea was a, a huge success. Uh, I heard a couple people just yesterday talking about uh, their coin collection and what they did with it and, and so on. So I think that was a, a big success. And then the event at the fairgrounds, a culminating uh, thing, it, it was uh, greatly attended. So just a, a tip of the cap to everybody in the room that had anything to do with this. Uh, from start to finish, it was a rousing success, I believe. And I, I think uh, most Garrett Countyans, if not all, would, would agree with that. So without further ado, let me read uh, our proclamation. Uh, so in celebration of Garrett County's rich history of connecting communities, the Board of Garrett County Commissioners hereby honors and recognizes Garrett County on its 150th anniversary on December the 4th, 2022, signed by Commissioners Heimball, Titchenell, and myself. And uh, I think everybody by now has seen uh, the coin uh, collection. So uh, at the end, when we bring the entire committee up uh, to be recognized, we'll get a, a picture for the paper with this and with everybody. Um, and then Kim's going to give a speech. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so with that, I will invite Kathy Beachler uh, and the Arts Council President, uh, Stephanie, uh, to the front. for the artwork presentation. Thank you very much for coming, ladies. Thank you. All right, so on behalf of the Garrett County Arts Council, and I'm honored to pre present the Board of Commissioners, the winning, artist prize winners are the winning artwork on permanent display here in the boardroom. First prize is Jessica McClurg, and her work is right there. First one. Second prize is Alyssa Rodekeeper. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And third prize is Misty Kisner. <laughs> and we, would, we just want to say thank you to the Board of Commissioners for their continued support um, of the arts through Garrett County. Thank you thank guys you. very much. And uh, for the winners, if you would, uh, at the conclusion of this, um, we'll get pictures of you with your artwork uh, so that we have that. And very, very nice job. Uh, Commissioner Heimball thought he could outdo that, but <laughs> <laughs> the stick figures bled together. And you, you that was probably a, a Southern graduate, I'm assuming. Are you a Southern graduate? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here we go. Here we go. As part of the, the artwork is, a, is on permanent collection now with the Board of Commissioners, um, but as part of the ongoing uh, work that we do with the Arts Council, the winning piece right now is for sale um, in the gallery shop. You can get prints of it for $20, and we have intentions to make other pieces available throughout the next year. Outstanding. Thank you all very much. <laughs> So next up, uh, no pressure, Sarah, uh, we will uh, conclude the celebration of the sesquicentennial with a video that sort of takes us through uh, the, the whole thing. And I just want to thank the commissioners for allowing us to, you know, do something new and innovative in the county and really uh, it was a groundswell effort of the committee kind of kicked off some ideas, but we had a community that supported us. And if you didn't attend the 17th event, the, uh, September 17th, you really missed out. But that's what this video showcases. And um, you know, by all accounts, it was really a successful event. We, an event being the entire year long celebration, but on September 17th, we had over 2000 people come to the fairgrounds, which was really exciting. We gave out over 500 sets of the commemorative coins, and we were able to donate approximately $10,000 to local nonprofits. So we're really happy that uh, we were able to celebrate. I'm ready now, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> My fingers are crossed. <laughs> I wrote some trivia questions down about Garrett County. Is that okay? What 
is the Native American word yakagini translated to mean? It is not poop, poop, poop. <laughs> <laughs> or it's contrary. Or a river that flows in a contrary direction. Someone had sent us an email, and I don't remember who it was, and just said, hey, the, the 150th is next year. And we just brought it up, and we kicked some ideas around, and uh, we decided just to form a committee uh, with various parts of uh, Garrett County uh, organizations to plan an event. And we were just thinking of an event like today, but the committee came back with a series of events tied into the towns, which obviously I really like. Uh, and they did the coin thing, and then they tried to be in every town for the town events to give out the coins for a uh, collector's item. And then all of that led up to today. Bringing the whole community, all ages together, it really is exciting. People are so anxious to get those commemorative coins that have been distributed to each of the towns. So the coin project uh, came out early in the uh, in the discussions. It was something that we felt was would be unique. The idea was to invite and entice people to visit each of the eight municipalities to collect a coin. And the people are anxious to make sure they get them because there's only so many sets available. So it's first come, first serve. So it's like I'm handling crowd control. <laughs> the front side features John W. Garrett, the namesake for Garrett County. And the reverse side is custom for each of the eight towns. I think it worked out very well going to each town so the people can come there to get their coin and see what's happening in each town in the county. Kevin Null really took it and ran with it. With him. Kevin alone, Carol Riley, and Kim Durden, and there other people. Uh, I think they're the ones that did the brainstorming and came up with all the different activities and events and then how to bring them together in kind of a capstone thing that we have today. Uh, we were part of Frederick County and then Washington County separated from that. We were in Washington County and then Allegheny County separated from that. And we were in Allegheny County and then we decided we'd be better off by ourselves uh, and became our own county uh, 150 years ago today. Garrett County was named for John Worth Garrett and he lived from 1820 to 1884. He was president of the Baltimore, Ohio Railroad and it was created from Allegheny County, Maryland, in 1873. It was the last Maryland County to be formed. I say it's a great day, so I think, I think uh, by looking around up here at the car show that's behind us, and, and uh, it, it looks like it's starting to bring people in already. I, you know, I hope that the, the citizens of the county come out and participate. But again, I hope the visitors come and see what, what the county really has to offer. There is a full slate of activities today. And I think uh, looking at the itinerary, just about every organization, the Daughters of the American Revolution, the Historical Society, uh, the Arts Council, and so on and so forth, have things going on. I, I think one of the best things about it is it's an opportunity for a lot of young people to come up with something about the history of the county and the history of the towns and all people like us We've been exposed. I was going to say, you've been here for about 148 of these again in the years. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> my mother's face, my father's heart. A good day when the fall rain stirred. Their history makes the town unique. People make the town great. A feeling you find. No matter how far you've gone The thing you can't quite put your finger on Back home Hey, yeah. what generation of Garrettonians are you? away and 
and then the Historical Society and the Library are going to have 25 sets to sell to um, as a fundraiser for them. A name carved in stone. up none of this was here the college wasn't here the airport wasn't there and deep creek was a different animal than it is today as a senator from District 1. So congratulations, Garrett County. So congratulations, Garrett County. Happy birthday. Job. And that video was put together by Mark Stutzman, <clears throat> um, so he, he did an outstanding job with that. And it is with great pleasure now that uh, we get to recognize the uh, individuals that put uh, the whole year on for us and on behalf of uh, the citizens of Garrett County. Uh, I'm going to call each one of you up one by one and uh, you know have, have you come up and then stand up here so we can get some pictures. Uh, I'm going to read uh, the first uh, citation. All of them read the same, obviously, except the name hopefully will be different on each one of them. <laughs> and then uh, we also have a little token of our appreciation that Commissioner Heimball will hand out as well. So this Garrett County, Maryland uh, commendation on December the 7th, 2022, Board of Garrett County Commissioners commendation to Carol Riley Alexander. For service on the Garrett County 150th Anniversary Committee, we, the Board of Garrett County Commissioners and the great people of our county, join together today to extend our sincerest appreciation to you for your service on the 150th Anniversary Committee. Your hard work and dedication made the event a successful and memorable celebration. We hereby honor and bestow upon you, Carol Riley Alexander, this certificate of commendation as a token of our gratitude for your work on the 150th Anniversary Committee and your commitment to Garrett County, signed by Commissioners Titchnell, Heimball, and myself. And Carol, quit hiding and come on up here. <laughs> Kim Durst. Sarah Myers. Mary Mater Cummings. My favorite glass director. Kim Folk. Thomas Vos. And John McGowan. So thank you all very much, and I think these guys deserve a big round of applause. For yourself, Mary. <laughs> All right, and uh, the last item on the uh, agenda uh, bittersweet moment. Uh, 
Commissioner Heimbol. Uh, this will be his final meeting with uh, Larry and I after eight years. Uh, so I don't want to steal any of uh, the Colonel's thunder, so I'll shut up and uh, turn the meeting over to him uh, for his farewell message. Well, thanks. Finally, it's taken eight years, but Larry, finally one of us gets a chance to talk a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in, in all seriousness, it's been a, uh, a great eight years. Paul and Larry have been uh, just absolutely great to work with. And, you know, you, you kind of assume that all boards of county commissioners through the other 23 counties get along and work together like this, but it's actually, I've learned now from going downstate a good bit through the Mako and other things, it's actually uh, more unusual than you think it would be. Uh, there's typically people trying to outmaneuver one another and uh, Larry and I don't worry about that. Paul just outmaneuvering us all the time. You know, but, and, 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 and they've been great to uh, work with and I tell you, Paul has been uh, obviously absolutely great as uh, chairman and, and being chairman takes a lot of a lot of extra effort and time that um, generally people I think don't understand and don't appreciate and I know Larry and I appreciate very much um, what Paul has done in terms of serving as a chairman and providing the leadership and uh, running the meetings and that sort of thing so I, I'm also very proud of what we've accomplished in the last eight years um, not, not only have we bounced the budget every year, uh, I think we've had a surplus most years. We got through COVID without having a disaster and destroying businesses in, in the county. Um, you know, we fully funded the operations of the county. We fu fully funded education, fully funded law enforcement. Um, we helped people buy homes, something I'm really proud of, the Home Buyer Assistance Program. I think we've helped like 150 people or families buy homes, help them with the down payment, closing costs, whatever, it's a great program. We considered, we can continue the commissioner scholarship program, actually put a little bit, a little bit more money into it, which I think is absolutely critical to the future of the county and, and the growth of the county. Capital projects, you know, we funded, we helped fund the PAC, it wouldn't, the Performing Arts Center wouldn't have happened without us helping to fund it. The STEM building wouldn't have happened without us funding it. Um, artificial turf at both of the high schools, football fields, tracks. Um, we've also already approved money for artificial turf for the Garrett College baseball field and soccer field. Um, Grantsville Elementary School renovation. We just basically approved or we're in the process of approving the renovation of the Southern Middle School and um, some improvements to Southern High School. And, you know, throughout this whole thing, our, our our economy's been, we have issues, don't get me wrong, but the economy's been really good. I think our latest unemployment is 4% or? It's 3.6. Three it's under 4%. I remember the time, Kim probably does, when I first came back, and, and I came back in 95. In 97, the average unemployment, average annual unemployment for that year was 13.7%. Unemployment got up in January, February, March, got up to 17 18 percent we were always the highest unemployment in the county in the, in the state now this last reporting period i think there were 14 counties that had higher unemployment than we did so you don't hear a lot about it but the economy is actually pretty strong and you know we're in the process of dealing with some things that, are, that have been issues you know we're working on at least the concept for a recreation center um, we're working on a, uh, projects and we're, we're still at kind of the conceptual level, but for affordable housing that will basically provide a, an affordable housing project for both uh, one in Grantsville, one in, in Accident area, one in, or McKinnon area, and one in uh, Oakland area. So uh, we've made, I, I, I think we've done a really good job of balancing priorities and we've funded, we've been good at funding the towns. We increased funding to the towns. We've, we've funded nonprofits. We've helped a lot of the volunteer fire departments. Um, you know, we hired EMTs so that we could make sure, that because we didn't have uh, enough volunteers, we hired EMTs. 
so we can make sure that when you call 911 uh, that somebody's going to show up on time and answer your call and they're going to be prepared to uh, take care of you. So uh, I, I, could go, I could go on and on about that, but um, it's been a good eight years. I'm sure Ryan's going to have a, uh, he's going to have four for sure. I don't know if it's eight or four, but he's going to have four for sure. And I'm, I'm sure this tradition of working together and cooperating and doing what's best for the county, is gonna, I'm sure that's going to continue. Um, this is hard to do. Is Carol still here? Yes. Oh, She's can high. you leave? Because I'm going to say something nice about you. <laughs> 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 Carol has done a great job. She holds the office together, makes sure we're, 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 we're at the right place at the right time kind of keeps us from getting in trouble. Uh, her and I spar a lot, but um, actually she does an okay job. <laughs> <laughs> and um, last thing I want to do is thank Barb uh, for being so supportive. She's been patient and supportive. And I thank her for encouraging me to run for delegate. I thought it was just a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, thank you all for coming today. And, and um, you know, I think the other thing, the last thing I'd like to say is that I think our Board of County Commissioners has enjoyed um, really, I've been around here since 95. This Board of County Commissioners, I think, has enjoyed um, really, really good support from the, the general public for the things that we've done and everything. Uh, it, it's not always like that. We don't get a lot of complaints about things. Uh, I think that's because we try to do the right thing. We try to take care of people. Um, but it's, it's just a, it's a really good environment right now to work in. And, it's, it's, and again, it's not like that everywhere. I just came back from two days in Annapolis for the new legislator orientation. And to hear some of the stories from some of the other places, it's like, God, I'm glad I ain't there. You know I mean? It's just, uh, it, 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 um, Larry and Paul have really been really, really good to work with. Larry gets a little wordy at times, but other than that, everything, they're both good. So thank you very much for coming today. I appreciate it. That's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Titchell. I think one of the uh, <clears throat> things that Jim left out was that when I was elected county commissioner, I had no idea what uh, I was getting myself into. And Ryan, you'll probably be able to say this in a couple years here also, but, um, but Jim and Paul have been very good mentors to me. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate being able to go to Jim and say, hey, I'm not quite up to speed on something, explain it to me. And he'd always take the time to do that. Paul's the same way. And um, I'm gonna miss the camaraderie that we've had. I really am. Um, you know, I really didn't know Jim before we were all elected, but it didn't get didn't take too long to find out that um, he had somebody to pick on. <laughs> that would be me. So, you know, I, he came to me one time, not too long after we were elected, I remember this. And he said, uh, do you mind that I pick on you like I do? I said, well, Here's the deal. If you stop picking on me, I'm, I'm going to know that you're mad at me for some reason. <laughs> so continue to do so. And um, he tries to keep me from uh, having too many ginger ales because he said that uh, I get a little I get a little wild if I get too many ginger ales. So, so that that's you know that's that's what I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss uh, having Jim around. His friendship. And um, I'm going to miss it. I know that we'll be seeing him. I know that we'll be working with him. And I also know that we have 
a great person as our state delegate right now. He's going to represent Garrett County to the best of his ability, and that that um, that's going to mean a lot to Garrett County. I know he's got a tough battle because um, he's he's well known, but it's still it's still going to be a tough tough battle to get things for Garrett County now. So, um, Jim, thank you so much for stepping up to that. Thank you so much for being a friend. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll wrap this up, uh, and I'll ditto everything that has already been said. I, I do want to say Jim is absolutely correct and, and uh, those of you who've been around the state in any capacity uh, understand that what we have here is not the norm. Uh, we have formed a very good team. We've worked very well together. Uh, I've been involved now for actually longer than most people realize with, with when I was with Grantsville and working here and, and not every board of the Garrett County Commissioners has worked very well together, certainly not at the state level. And, uh, you know, Larry, Larry's right. When we were first elected eight years ago, I didn't know Larry Tishnell at all. I knew Jim through my dad, but I knew him well enough to talk to him, didn't really know him. And over eight years, uh, I think Jim's correct. We've, we've done a lot. Uh, I think we have prioritized trying to do the best for the citizens of the county. And, uh, you know, at the end, um, you know, we come out of this probably as, as re really good friends. And uh, that, I think, is important, and I think that's why we've been able to work well together. I'm sure everybody in the room hasn't agreed with everything that we've done. Uh, you're never going to please everybody uh, all the time. But I do think uh, everybody in the room does appreciate the fact uh, that we've worked well together and uh, represented the county, uh, I think, with integrity. And uh, for that, I think most people are very happy. And, and certainly that is uh, the result of, of Jim and Larry and I being able to work together. Uh, it has been very difficult working with two Southern graduates, uh, <laughs> but we, we've held it together. But Larry's right, you know, the fact that we can sit here and joke around a little bit and, and get along and, and work together and really lean on each other. Jim, it's interesting, this mix, because our areas of expertise are much different. Uh, I come from uh, the education uh, world and municipal government. Jim comes from economic development, the military, and Larry comes from the agricultural community. Uh, and it's, you know, we've been able to work together and blend and braid our strengths uh, to, to be greater, you know, the whole's greater than the sum of its parts. And uh, I really appreciate the camaraderie we have. Uh, I do want to acknowledge uh, Commissioner-elect Ryan Savage is here today. Uh, he'll be up here at our next meeting. We'll have our swearing in. And I really, really hope, and my goal, and I know Larry feels the same, and I'm sure Ryan does as well, that four years from now, eight years from now, however long from now, we're the next member of this board moves on to something different where we can all sit here and say the same kind of stuff. Uh, so that, I think, is our goal. Jim is going to represent us very well in Annapolis. There's a, uh, we're in a major transition here in Garrett County. I think everybody realizes that. Uh, we've got new folks at the state level, Jim being one of them. We've got new folks here at the county level. We've got a new sheriff. Uh, you know, lots of stuff going on. Um, so it, it's going to be a transition. We're all going to continue to have to work together uh, to continue to move our, our county forward and with the right people in the, in the right seats. I think I, I feel very good that we'll be able to do that. Uh, we are going to, at the conclusion of this meeting, have a, a reception out in the foyer uh, to see Jim off. Uh, Jim will actually be county commissioner until the minute that Commissioner uh, Savage is sworn in in two weeks. Uh, actually, I'll just announce that now. The next public meeting will be Tuesday, December 20th. Uh, right here at 4 o'clock, it will be the swearing in of the new commission. Uh, and before uh, we do take any public comment and adjourn, uh, we do have one last thing. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to present... Commissioner Heimball, Delegate-elect Heimball, with this uh, plaque to take with him to Annapolis. 
uh, which is uh, a map of our great county with its seal. Uh, it says James C. Heimball Jr., Director of Economic Development, 1995 to 2012, County Commissioner from 2014 to 2022, and we probably should have put delegate on there from 2022 to who knows when. Uh, but uh, on behalf of, of a grateful citizenry, Jim, uh, congratulations, thank you. I didn't know what a heifer was until I met Larry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's educated Paul and I a lot on agriculture. He, he, had, he has absolutely done that. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do. We, we now are at the time, and, and again, uh, at the conclusion of this, if the arts, uh, the the art council winners on the art contest, uh, if we can get some pictures with them with their artwork, we'll have the uh, reception out here as well. Does anybody have any comments? Any public, comments? Co public comments. Yep. Go go right ahead. Try to speak up here. Uh, so, um, commissioners, I just wanted to give you an update on the Maryland Television Initiative. Um, this is not a new issue, but the Maryland Television Initiative is a group of local citizens who are trying to bring Maryland TV to Garrett County. Um, it's as simple as that. But what I'm here to do is just to, to give you an update. And, Paul, you're probably aware of some of this um, because you've been so engaged, and I appreciate that. But the um, Congressman Trone's office did confirm um, by contacting the FCC that we can indeed add Maryland television to the existing Pittsburgh television lineup. So that's actually an affirmative yes, that we can do that. And I think that was kind of a missing piece to, to this puzzle, which is a very complex puzzle. Um, the other piece of information and uh, some of you are aware is that there is no federal funding mechanism for the Maryland Television Initiative. Um, Paul looked into this with Congressman Trone's office. Um, Senator Cardin's aware of this, and they have provided, Congressman Trone's office has provided us with a list of grant opportunities and has said, they have uh, stated that they would help us in that process. I don't know what that entails I don't know what what the help um, effort actually is but um, appreciate that that information has been passed along to us uh, the endeavor is certainly not something that is um, inexpensive and requires a lot of legal expertise uh, research and a lot of background information to accompany the FCC um, application for a modification to the des designated market area or DMA. So th that's all I wanted to provide to you today. I'm, I didn't want to take much time, but that's those are the updates. Thank you very Thank much, you. and that's uh, good information to have. Appreciate Thank you. It. Anyone else uh, questions or comments? Hearing none. Thank you all very much for attending. Please feel free to, to stick around. And uh, again, our next meeting is the swearing in of the new commission uh, on Tuesday, December the 20th. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you very much. Yeah.